What's up everybody, this is Jordan Nelson, AKA DJ Phase, here with another gear review, this time on another form of DMX controller called the Wi-Fly NE1 from American DJ. This controller is way different from most other hardware controllers that are available to DJs in this price range. It doesn't require you to program all of the individual scenes and chases for your lights, but instead programs them all internally with profiles for your fixtures that you provide on a little flash drive. It makes programming a lot simpler and a lot quicker. And if you are a DJ that just does weddings, smaller parties, or really you're not looking to make the most elaborate light shows possible, this is a great solution to take control of your light in a fast and efficient way. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to this new channel down below and follow me on Instagram at DJ Phase, F-A-Y-Z-E. There's gonna be a lot of great new reviews and content coming your way and you're not gonna to wanna to miss it. Without any further ado, let's dive into the review. All right, so let's take a look at the Wi-Fi NE1. Now, just looking at the controller, you're gonna notice that it's different from most other hardware DMX controllers that are on the market. It's not covered with a big line of sliders right here. It's a lot more compact and it has this little screen up here. That's because the Wi-Fi Anyone isn't like most other DJ controllers. On most other DJ DMX controllers, you're gonna to have to put all your fixtures in. You'll only have a set number of fixtures you can use. You have to move sliders to adjust each channel's value, save it as a scene, and then combine those scenes into a chase, okay? The Wi-Fi Anyone has a little computer in it that does a lot of the programming work for you, which makes it super nice. So you're gonna notice this one, I'm able to power it on, which is right here. Uh, with no power cord because this is the battery version. They make two versions. This one's the battery one for the $50 more, whatever it is. I would suggest going this route. It has been awesome in a few circumstances where I've needed to set up some up lights and I don't want to run another cable just to power my DMX controller. Let's take a look at the back. The backside is pretty simple. You've got a battery compartment here you won't ever really need to have to change. You've got a DMX out if you want to send out a hardwired DMX signal. You've got a power to charge the unit or just to run it off of AC power and then your power switch right here. And that's pretty much it. Looking back at the top of the unit, you're going to see a few different sections. Okay, up here at the top, you've got your Wi-Fi antenna. This sends out your wireless DMX signal over a few hundred feet to any fixtures that are Wi-Fi DMX enabled. So I've got some uh, American DJ Element hex pars. It's really nice to have this. Uh, no running of any cables at all. My lights are battery, my controller's battery, everything is wireless, which is super nice. On the right side, you're gonna see this little flash drive. This comes with the unit. This contains all of the fixture profiles that you'll need to program the lighting controller. So just like with a software lighting program, the flash drive contains lighting profiles that tell the controller what the channels in your different lights do. So you're able to look through the menu, select your lighting fixtures based on their manufacturer name and model, and you don't have to know, oh, slider to three is the dimmer or slider four is the strobe. The controller will know all of that based off the profiles. If you can't find the profile for your light, it's easy enough to get one made by American DJ, or you can join a Facebook group for any one users where people make custom profiles. There's a computer program that's available from American DJ where you can make your own programs and then load them onto the USB flash drive. All right, so let's take a look at the different sections of this DMX controller. Off to the left, you have your mode buttons. The first one's fixture. By highlighting this button and then selecting any of these numbered buttons, one through 12, you can select up to 12 different lights. Or if you have multiple lights patched to one DMX address, these could be different groups of lights. Okay, so let's say I have four pars, I could select those four, and now I can modify the attributes of those four lights. The next button down on the mode section is color. This will allow me to choose any one of 12 preset colors that the controller automatically generates. So you don't have to slide your red, green, blue faders. Uh, this controller will automatically color match the most common colors for you, which is really handy. The next button down is gobo. So if you have moving lights, you can select the different gobos that your lights have available. I don't have any moving lights selected, so my fixture function buttons are not lighting up. Then you've got effect. Once again, this controller is gonna be programming for you. It makes movements, it makes color fades, it makes color jumps. It does all of that for you. So hitting effect, you can select different color effects or movement effects that the controller auto-generates. 
down here in show once again an option to select different built-in shows that your lights have available you can access the lights macros or built-in movement patterns and then pause right here uh, if a show is running and you want it to pause for dramatic effect you can pause it by selecting this button right here these buttons right here these are your 12 function buttons they are further allowing you to modify the mode that you select over here so when you're in fixture mode it allows you to select your fixtures when you're in gobo mode it allows you to select your gobo these kind of adjust the things that you choose with your mode okay moving over to the right you've got four wheels the first one says effect speed and pan so if you're controlling moving lights you can pan your lights around and find a certain spot in the room you've also got a fine pan so if you need to adjust it even more finely below that you've got tilt and tilt fine same thing this is adjust your vertical and your fine vertical movement these also have dual functions so you'll notice that it says effect speed so if you're running one of the controllers inbuilt effects or movement patterns you can adjust the speed of that effect the phasing of that effect the size of that effect or the direction once again you don't have to know how to make DMX scenes and chases. All you have to do is choose pre-made ones inside the controller, and then you can modify them to fit your needs with these little wheels, which is super nice. Over here, you've got the setup slash programming part of the controller. There's a menu button to enter to the setup mode or to just access all the different options in the menu. Right now, it's bringing up the battery life. This dial right here allows you to navigate through the menu and adjust all sorts of settings. Down here you've got memories, so if you program a scene you really like, you can save it in up to 12 different memories. There's six buttons with two pages, 12 different scenes, I guess we could call them, that you can save right here. And then off to the right, you've got a master dimmer with a blackout button beneath it, and then you've got a strobe rate slider with a strobe button below it. So this is a flash button, you can hold it and strobe your lights, let go and they'll stop strobing, and you can adjust how fast they're strobing right here. To summarize, the Wi-Fi Anyone Battery DMX controller is really a unique offering for DJs that are looking to control their lighting. It auto-generates really neat movement patterns, really cool color fades, uh, all within the controller without you having to slide faders, save scenes, and make chases. Okay, If you're a DJ that's a wedding DJ or doing smaller events, you want to take control of your lighting, but you don't want to have to program out a ton of different scenes, this is a great option for you. It's self-contained, it's battery powered, it's wireless. It allows you to create a little more of an impact with your light show without having to do hours and hours of programming. So that's your look at the Wi-Fi Anyone battery from American DJ. Like I said before, it's an awesome controller that allows you to take control of your lighting quickly and without a lot of programming. It's also battery and wireless DMX, which makes your lighting setup even easier than before. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't to the channel and follow me on Instagram at DJFAYZE. Until next time, thanks for watching.